Okay, so this is a quick setup that, uh, for an experiment that I was uh, really looking forward to do it. This one here is uh, one of my quick exhaust uh, valve cannons, my pump, some BBs, a water container with some spare water, a ram rod or a plunger, there is a cotton tip and some permanent marker. So. Uh, while I was on the beach this summer, I noticed that by firing into the water, uh, the BB came out of the barrel into the water without actually crushing against anything. And I noticed like a small strip of grey over the side. So to better understand what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a grey stripe nearly 180 degrees long. This can only be due to the barrel and since it is that long, if it is caused by the mm, BB rubbing against the barrel or rolling on the barrel, this would tell me that on 25 centimeters this is rotating half a revolution so this would be rotating at uh, quite a high rate and the BB wouldn't fly straight and this would give me accuracy issues that I would have to deal with but the other uh, hypothesis is that the grey stripe is caused by the top ring that I always put on the bridge so that the BB is held in place till the moment of firing. So the experiment I I developed was to tint this cotton. So I'm gonna put the BB inside, I'm gonna ram it and then when it is safely in place here I'm gonna tint the tip. I want to find the mark in relationship with the red dot and according to my um, hypothesis it should be perpendicular I mean the red dot should be like the North Pole and the grey strip would be like the equator so this is what I would like to find this would be the mark of the tapper and the baby would fly straight through the barrel with the red dot in front. Since I can't recover an undamaged uh, BB with the pinpointed position, I'm going to fire it on water. But you can see I've already made the opposite experiment or the complementary experiment which is to fire the BB to a board to test if the red tip is hidden first. And it is doing it. So I think I know what I'm going to find on the water experiment and it should be this. Let's go test it. Okay, so for a safe operation, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fire at 10 atmospheres which is going to make us like a 200, almost 200 meters per second for a 0 0.2 grams biodegradable BB and uh, I'm going to pump to 5, put the BB without, without releasing the valve, tint the tip of the BB, then top to 10, put in here and fire. Let's go. That is 5, put in the BB, in order to avoid any remaining tint I'm gonna run with the opposite the opposite tip and now I just have to tint this and run it we are still at five that's nice but this has some leaks, so I'm going to go at 10 and fire right then. 
always wearing safety glasses and protection releasing and firing okay I think the lens doesn't have any water let me find the BB yeah back again I found it right here and uh, uh, I wouldn't say there is a grey mark and I'm gonna add a lens and some light but I don't see a grey mark so before showing you the BBs I'm going to fire a couple of times more okay top in 10 atmospheres for the second one three two one nice one here it has a dent on one side let's see after and the third one let's see if I can get that gray stripe uh, no gray stripe okay I'm gonna show you the results okay so here's what I've got this is the first one you can see the circle came pretty decent and I can't see any marks so this one here is the second one we can see also a darker stripe on the front it broke on one side I don't know why and I don't see any marks at all maybe one spot right there on my thumbnail but I don't know the third one is also very interesting it has a wider spot on the middle of the red area and I think it's due to the water wiping off the ink I had an issue at that moment because the cotton was a little bit wet so I think the ink couldn't settle on time and maybe the tip has get rid of some paint there's also a small dent on the side and I don't see any other thing I think maybe the time I saw that mark there could be some aluminum oxide on the cannon I don't know so I'll have to live with the tests on the board which I'm going to make a close-up for you right now there you are that is I swear you a hit of the BB this one is the first one it was done at a distance of one and a half meters and this one is the second one and it was done it was shot at a distance of one meter so I think if the BBs were rotating a itty tiny bit inside the barrel they wouldn't have hit it with the red mark first so I think they are flying pretty straight and um, as for the other more perfect cannon that I have I am able to hit a can at 15 meters consistently so yeah smooth bore barrels I think they work really nice and these BBs they work fine they seem not to develop any Magnus effect hope you enjoyed it sorry I couldn't get uh, any better results I'll try later till then consider subscribing thanks for watching